Hey guys, this is the Card Collector and I hope everybody's having a good day. We're doing a very special video. If you guys don't know, I hit an antique, a collector's, a card comic coin show. That's right. And this is going to be some of the footage I that is possible to use. This is going to be all the pickups and what I got from the guy. I hope everybody enjoys this video. Give this video a thumbs up. This is my first time doing a show video. If it works out, I will be doing more. I love this type of stuff. I will go into depth of what I bought, why I bought it, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and here we go. We'll start this now. So first card show in a long time. Here it is. So I go and see my friend. He has a display case and tables. He is from my area. I know him well. So all this stuff he has, definitely a crazy amount. I asked him about a Red Kelly card. That's Manko 9.5 is a pop one. Unbelievable card. He has that McDavid. That's a 9.5. Absolutely beautiful. Can't imagine that card going down anytime soon. He has an assortment of autographs, jersey cards, vintage. All right, guys. So let's go on to the next table. Okay, so this is me walking around the show. I'm looking at all this great stuff. Look at there. There's a Gagne autograph puck. Sorry that I'm so shaky. There's just so much stuff to see. Unbelievable. Awesome stuff. There's toys, cars, all that bin of good stuff right there. It's not for me, but maybe someone will take it. This guy had a great assortment of stuff. He had Hot Wheels, McFarlane's. You can see he had a bunch of graded stuff. He had a graded Yager, a graded Scott Stevens, a graded Rob Blake 9, BGS. You can see the Yager stuff. I pick up a quad jersey of Colorado that is graded 9.5, not interested at $40, so I put it back. So I keep looking. You can see there's a Tarasenko right there I was going to buy, but decided not to because, well, I was saving up. We'll see what else I pick up during the video. So this is the same guy that had all the BGS and Tarasenko Young Gun. This is pins from the 1989 Olympics, Calgary Olympics. Unbelievable. There's probably 300, maybe even more. Look at all these cool things. I thought I could just add this in. Uh, this is the same guy. So he had some banners. I wasn't interested in the banners of buying them, but I love to look at old vintage talk. He put down his business card. So there's New York Rangers, the St. Louis Blues. There's the Saints, the Fighting Saints, the Kings, very old Kings, the New York, New Jersey Devils, the Alberta Oilers of the WHA, unbelievable stuff. There's the Lightning, all these banners. There's some signed ones from Team Canada in the 80s or 70s. He wasn't even sure. Vancouver Canucks, unbelievable stuff. Look at the North Stars, all piles of stuff. You can see from the video, he had great stuff for sale. So the first thing I picked up at his table was an Ethan Bear Young Gun. Ethan Bear, his stuff's been going up. Everybody has been wanting Ethan Bear. Came in the one touch. Pretty sick deal. The next, we got a Dave Semenko. There he is. Autograph from Enforcers, 9.5 BGS. You know, you guys, if you watch me, I like my graded. There you go. There's a 9.5. Too bad there is no subgrades. Um, I'll have to remove that sticker. He put a sticker on the BGS case and not on one of the bags, but that's okay. And the last one we picked up was a 80-81. So there's a Gretzky second year P BGS 3. I always wanted one. Now they're selling for like stupid amounts of money. So only chance I had to get one. I put, I think I overpaid for it, but in the long run, I think it's going to be worth it. Maybe crack it, send it to PSA, who knows. But that is the three cards I picked up from that guy's table. So we'll get back to the sale, keep walking around. I found this really cool plate, all these knickknacks and these license plates. These are pretty cool, so let's get back to the cards. This is where I mostly spend most of my money. This guy had some crazy boxes, some singles. Look at all this good stuff he had. He has baseball, basketball, some opened, unopened product of the 1990s. He had hockey card albums, a lot of great stuff. So sorry for the shakiness, but there is all the stuff he had. Unbelievable. I picked up a few things you will see in a minute, but there is some a Dylan Larkin Young Gun. He had, he had a McAvoy, some Eichel. He had Goudreau, a Cam Neely rookie. 
all this great stuff. You had some jumbo young guns, I guess some football, more football. Get some jumbo young guns. Look at that. All those great jumbo young guns. There you go. And he has some Boba Shet stuff. Some more wrapped up cards. All the good stuff. Binders of cards. We had comic books. I was flipping through his comic books, seeing if there was anything that I would sell or maybe make some money on. The last guy I bought a bunch from. To start off, we bought five packs of series one retail so he gave me a sick deal on four packs of series one retail so that's going to be fun to open very very soon also i will include a photo i got 1990 hoops so hopefully uh i this is for a friend unless someone wants to buy it hoops there you go this is a sealed box of hoops picked it up on a pretty sweet deal and the one of the main deals actually the steal of the deal of the day was we op had an unopened box of 89.90 but sadly the seal broke so we're just going to open this up and show you so there you go we're going to be opening that one day on this channel and the main event of the whole thing we spent some good money but we got a vintage packs we're going to be opening very soon so there's 8283 Opichi. We got 8182 oh, tops. We got one 7879. Like I said, guys, I don't open a lot of vintage, so hopefully this stuff isn't opened. Some of it looks very questionable. We got 8485. He didn't know the years of this, so we got three packs of 8485. So that's going to be on a very huge vintage break. We got, what is it, 7778. So that's pretty cool. He added it down as, what is it, 7879 or 70, something like that. Told him he was wrong. And we got 7778. I don't want to sell any of these packs to anybody just in case they are opened. So after the show we decided that we can't leave without opening a product so we went to the best store there is toys r us because we knew that they had 40 to 60 percent off on all sports cards Yu-Gi-Oh, magic everything like that so we got there and all of a sudden there was no hockey cards there was no hockey cards left because everything was getting blown away because it was uh, so cheap. It was a yard sale. They were selling stuff for cheap. So we looked around. We found two blaster boxes. I got one. My friend got one. These originally, I think they sell for around 31 bucks. This we got for $22.50. Like $23 shipped. So, so we ran out. Got some blasters. But that did not feed our frenzy. Because my buddy said we need to grab more boxes because we are not doing a two hour trip to get nothing. So we went to not only one, not only two, but three Walmarts to go and buy solid product to open on the way back. So we got for upcoming videos, not one, not two, not three, but five championship boxes. They were, and before you guys comment, there were 8 to 12 boxes per Walmart. We stopped at 3. Some of them I grabbed 2. Some of them I only grabbed 1. So, we decided that wasn't enough. We ran to the king of trade that sell boxes that are overpriced as hell. And I decided to go and buy a box of... Allure for $129.99 plus tax. So that's going to be some fun to open. Stay tuned. We're going to be opening up this. And I hope you guys enjoy this because this is a very expensive box. Only eight cards per pack or eight cards, six cards per pack, eight packs per box. I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're going to be opening this very, very soon. So definitely you do not want to miss out on that.
But that is the end of my video. I hope you guys hit that subscribe button, like this video, and do not forget to comment what you guys thought of the local pickups. And to finish off the story, I bought this in a mystery poll. $5. So there's a John Moore autograph I spent 5 bucks on. There you go, guys. I hope you guys have a good day. Have a good night. I'm the card collector. And I'm out.